Welcome back guys. Today, I'm gonna be prepping the frame basically to get boxed. So, what I'm gonna end up doing, you can see on this side here, basically from about here to here, and then on a little bit up maybe to about here, I'm gonna be putting in like boxing plates the whole length of this. So one here, and then another one here. And then I'm gonna leave that open, as you can see from my transmission mounts. Um, I'm debating doing some of, uh, like the, what do you call it? Basically from here, where my finger is, if I can get the camera right, from here to here, with like a plate right here. So you put a plate here, and then you weld a piece from here to here to uh, strengthen the rear of the shock towers and all that. Um, I'm not sure based on how the body was and the frame getting straightened how all that's gonna line up So what I think I'm gonna do Is I'm gonna go ahead and prep this area too I'll paint back here and then get a plate welded onto here and then maybe get the body on and see if I still want to do these and how everything lines up So I don't want to get it welded all up and then have the body not line up and then I'm screwed I'm a little more confident in these over here that I can you know ratchet strap them together or push them apart if I need to because they're so long and just a little easier to work with than that little stood out section back there but so that's the plan but the uh the first thing i have to do is get paint i got some of the uh the chassis saver paint over here i read really good uh reviews on this read a lot of good um testimonials and whatnot you see here this stuff right here satin black so that's what i'm going to use but i want to get the paint no, I don't want to have it all painted and then weld them on because then you'll mess up the paint. But, And I'm sure the heat will probably damage the paint to a, a degree when I'm welding them on. But I at least want to get the paint back in in the rails in there. You know, on the part, just on the part I'm going to box. Then I'll go ahead and, you know, get the paint in there, get the box plates welded on, and then I'll go ahead and redo the whole frame. But I just want to get some form of protection back there before I uh, box those. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today is just getting the paint back there. And it's somewhat of a lengthy process because it says two to four coats and then, uh, let's see, two to six hours between coats. So that's pretty much gonna take most of my day. because I wanna do, I think I'll do go ahead and do four coats. We'll see how it goes on. You have to thin it with xylene. I think it's a 5%, basically 5% uh, xylene. Thin it out a little bit and I'm just gonna brush it on. And then honestly, depending on how that goes, how the painting goes today, it will probably determine whether I'm actually gonna paint this thing myself with a brush or actually ship it off to get sprayed and come back. So yeah, let me get everything set up, get the paint mixed and everything, and then uh, start getting some paint in there. So as you can see, I've got the inside of the uh, the frame painted just on my spots here that I'm going to box, and then on the back, you can see that. Hopefully, came out okay. There's some stroke marks, brush stroke marks in it and stuff. So I'm like, eh, I'm not sure I'm going to do the whole frame that way. We'll see once I get these plates put on. But this one here, you can see I've got my lines drawn on it basically. So I'm just going to cut this one out. You know, it'll go on like that. Once I get it cut out, it'll fit on there, you know, relatively good. Weld it up, good to go. And then the same I have on my uh, my side plates here. That one there, you see I've got my little marks for this side. You see where, it because it doesn't butt up perfectly like flat. So there's that, I'm gonna trim that out. And then obviously I'll have to do the trimming around here. Just trace them out. And then this side here is going to be a little, I'm debating. I think I'm just going to do it like that because the way those curves are and stuff, there's no way to make a really good fitting like butt weld up against all that. Cause I don't know if you can see the contours in that, but it just won't line up straight. And I don't want to cut that off that original piece. I kind of want to keep that on there just to keep the original dimensions and stuff for the body mounting. Because once you start cutting and welding, and then that's going to change a little bit. But I think if I leave that there, and just come maybe right up to it. Or even if I cut in that little curve section. If 
I cut in this little curved section a little bit and then just kind of slide the piece up against here, you know, that may be what I end up doing, but I'll show you once I get it cut out and everything. So what I'm going to do now is get those cut out, ready to weld, and then I have to paint the back sides of these aluminum, or uh, the, uh, the metal pieces here that are going to box to the frame. So I'll get them cut out perfect, paint the back side of them, then all I have to do is kind of trim this up, grind it a little bit, same on the bottom, and get it ready to basically butt weld here. And we should be good to go. Okay guys, I got the, uh, the pieces cut out that I was showing you. They're not uniform, but neither is that frame. So it may have been at one time, but it's not now. So those are all my pieces. I'm just gonna hit them with the uh, coat of the black paint, the uh, chassis saver that I showed you before, and uh, four coats, just like I did the, uh, the inside of the frame over there. And then we'll be ready to uh, do a little prep and then welding. All right, guys. I've got the. Uh, see if I can. I've got this one here to show you the back sides all painted black, and then that's going to be the outside. I've got this one clamped into place where it needs to be. So I just need to get to. I'm going to go ahead and tack these, you know, as much as I can. I'll put a few on the bottom. Then I want to, you know, basically do the whole top side of all of them, even the piece on the back here, um, and then flip the frame over get them all welded up on the bottom side and should be good to go but i'm gonna have to do the smaller little runs just to keep it just want to make sure i keep the heat down on this frame it's it's not super thin but it's not super thick either so just want to try and you know maybe an inch two inches at a time and just to keep it straight as i possibly can so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now i'll get you guys set up on a time lapse and i'll get going Alright guys, check it out. Got the boxing plates done for the most part. That's the rear right there. Do the uh, this will be the driver's side. The frame's upside down. And then the passenger side right here. You can see it's a little uh a little gnarly I'm not gonna lie my welds don't look the best but like I said before I'm more interested in strength so that should give me the strength I need I'm gonna check on prices to get this thing painted for me just shot sprayed basically um, I don't think I'm gonna go powder coat I was kind of debating painting it myself but I'm not sure if you can see this or not but I painted the inside and there's like I said I don't know if you can really see that but there's brush strokes in it you can kind of see maybe up here 
those brush strokes and then down here you can see where I was painting this way um, and you can see that pretty much wherever I painted you can see it you know even on the inside of the frame there you probably can't see from this angle or view but trust me they're there and I just don't know if that's you know if I can get it done for a couple hundred bucks maybe 250 just to have it picked up sprayed and dropped back off that might be a smarter smarter option to get it more uniform and then they can spray in here better you know in the holes and just kind of try and get as much as they can inside the frame i've already painted the back side as you know in here the boxing is good but you know the rest of these little holes and stuff i wasn't able to get into and it would be probably a little bit more difficult for me to try and do that with a brush or a sponge on a wire or something as opposed to just having them come through and shoot it so i think that's the route i'm going to go but that's going to wrap it up for this video as always guys thanks for watching Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out, and we'll see you on the next one.